Hi, my name is Rahul Trasan and I work as an AWS Solution Architect and Udemy Instructor. AWS Cloud Development Kit or CDK is revolutionizing the way we write infrastructure as code in AWS. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an AWS Lambda function with just few lines of code using CDK and TypeScript. This video is part of my AWS CDK course on Udemy, which you can check from the link in the description below. Now let's go ahead and build the AWS Lambda function. In this lecture, we're going to create an AWS Lambda with these four attributes, code, handler, runtime, and function name. So now that we have created multiple services using AWS CDK, so I have a summarized version of the steps to create these resources. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to open the new folder in the Visual Studio Code editor and then open the terminal. In the next step, we're going to create two folders, infra and the services folder. So we'll use mkdr infra and mkdr services command and we'll change directory to infra. The services folder would have the Lambda code and the infra folder would have all the infrastructure code. So I've created a CDK Lambda folder, which is blank on my local. Now let me go to the Visual Studio Code Editor and open this folder. So I'll go to file, open folder. Okay, here is a folder, so select folder. Now I'll just open the terminal, new terminal. Okay, now I will create a couple of folders. So I will say mkdir infra, and then I will create, let me do a clear first. Now I'll create another folder called services. Let's say mkdir services. We are going to put all our application code, or Lambda code in this case. Clear, now I'll do cd into the infra folder. So I change directory. Now you can see I'm on the infra directory. So if I do ls, it will be blank. Now the next thing we have to do is initialize the CDK with CDK init app dash dash language TypeScript. So let's do that. So I'll do a clear. So it's a CDK init app dash dash language and TypeScript. So it will take a few minutes to create the boilerplate code in the infra. Okay, I waited a few minutes and now it's all done. So let me just do a clear. And now let's look at the next steps. So the next step is you import the module for the AWS service being created. So we're creating a Lambda function. So I already opened this page, which has the Lambda documentation on the CDK. And you can see for TypeScript, this is what we have to import. And the construct that we'll use is because we're creating a Lambda function. So we're going to use the function construct. Let me go here and let me open the lib folder. And here you can see there's some boilerplate code already. So I'll just modify this. So I'll say import star as we are importing Lambda, so we'll say Lambda from AWS CDK lib and I will modify this to include the Lambda module. So you can see it's giving me an option. Okay, now we have imported the module. You can see here there's some boilerplate code again. I will just get rid of this. And I will say Lambda function. So the next thing we have to do is we have to define the scope, logical ID and props. So let's do this. So I'll say demo lambda is equal to new. And then what we have imported. So we imported lambda from here. And then the construct, as I said, we are going to use a function construct. And if I say function, it will give me an autocomplete option. So here it is. And then I will say the scope, which is this comma logical ID, which is let's say demo logic ID. And you can give any name you want. And then I have to give the props. So just here. And let's look at the documentation. What are the properties we need to provide? So if I go scroll down, you can see the code, handler, and runtime. These are the three you have to provide these are mandatory and there are some other things which are optional so let me go to the console and just show you so i'm on the aws console let me just do create function and let's say demo function and let's say python let's say python 3.9 and i'll just do create function now our demo function has been created and you can see the code. So we'll use the same code in our Lambda function that we are trying to create. The first thing I need is the code, but let's pause it for a little bit. Let's first look at the handler. So handler is a string. It is the name of the method within your code that Lambda calls to execute your function. So let me just go here and say handler. And what is the handler name or convention? If you 
go to this demo lambda function. So this is how it needs to be written. So you have the file name lambda underscore function and then you have the method name. So I will go here and say suspend so lambda underscore function which is a file name dot lambda underscore and okay so the next thing we are going to look at is the runtime and we are using python 3.9 so let's do that and let's say runtime and let's see what is the convention for writing this so if i go to runtime and you can see there are multiple attributes that you have for runtime so you can use any of these say dotnet core one java etc so what is the convention for writing this you use the module that you have imported dot runtime and then you provide the runtime that you are using so let's do that so lambda dot runtime okay here it is and then it should give me all the options so you can see it gives me auto complete options so i will go for python 3.9 Okay, now we have the code as we had discussed that all our application code needs to go to the services folder so this is our services folder so i'll do a new file and i will say lambda underscore function dot file okay if we go to the here so this is how the convention is so you need to provide lambda underscore dot function file, and then you just copy this code and you just paste it here okay so that's how we can update the code now let's go ahead and look at what does this code mean so now on the lambda documentation you can see i'm here on the code and they have provided a sample on how it needs to be written so you provide whatever module you are importing dot code and then you have to provide the path so there could be multiple ways you can provide the path so it can be from the local drive it can be from s3 it could be inline and these are all the methods that have been provided here so you can see it can be the ecr image docker build safes and parameters from bucket from the local disk path this is the option we are going to use so it will be from assets so let me go here and then i will say lambda and this comes from here dot code dot from assets that means it is from the local drive and this is where it is so now we have to provide the path so what you need to know is that it starts from this infra so what you have to do is you have to go back out of this infra folder and then you have to write services okay so what it means is right now you are on this particular file you have to provide the relative path of this lambda underscore function dot i file within the services folder that means you have to provide two dots where it goes out of this infra folder and then it goes to services folder and then this is the file it is going to refer to okay, the only other thing we can provide which is an option is the function name so we can provide the lambda function name so let's do that let's say function and it shows me the option you can see it's a string and so i will say demo cdk lambda Okay, so I think that's pretty much it and now our lambda function should be created if you want you'll provide more attributes but we'll just stick to this so now let's look at the next step okay the next one is the npm run build it's an optional step so I'll just skip it for now so next we have the cdk bootstrap command it's a one-time command so if you've already bootstrapped your environment once then you don't need to do it but if you haven't then you can just run this command cdk bootstrap we can go here and run this command cdk bootstrap in my case i've already bootstrapped my environment because i've run this command before so i'm not going to do it in your case if you've not bootstrapped your environment before then you need to run it once and then it should be good if you've already run it then you don't need to run this command again so let's do a cdk synth which will synthesize cloud formation template we'll say cdk synth Okay, it generated an equivalent cloud formation template and which you can just check from here uh, so this is the equivalent cloud formation template it has created and now the final step which is cdk deploy to deploy this service so we'll clear and then we'll say cdk deploy so it's going to take a few minutes maybe i'll pause the video for a little bit so it's asking me if i want to deploy these changes so i'll say yes
So I can just check the cloud formation. So you can see infra stack it's in progress. Okay, so this is the demo CDK Lambda, the name of our function that we had provided. You can see here. demo cdk lambda you can see it's already created the demo cdk lambda and this is the code that we have provided so if we just do a test test and i can say demo save i can just run it and you can see it's giving me a response as expected so this is how you can create a lambda function. Um, let's take a look at the cloud formation as well. So this is complete as well. And if I see here, you can see that infra stack has been deployed and to about one minute, total time of about more than a minute. So that's how you can create a lambda function.